Now today on Gearbox we're looking at the Midas M32R. I am of course joined by Jason. Now Jason, you don't really know much about mixing consoles, <laughs> but I'm going to invite you Thank to you. have an opinion anyway. Um, what do you think of this thing? Uh, let's start with, uh, with some basics. Yeah, okay. Well, so it's the stripped down or compact version of the M32, but we've still got 40 mix channels, 25 buses. Uh, just a, a sort of much more compact frame which you can rack mount. Um, now, the interface is lovely. Look, anybody who's been near a digital console at any time in the last decade is going to be able to operate this thing pretty much without any kind of instruction. Uh, all the encoders have uh, got a really nice feel to them, a sort of a nice weighted solid feel. Uh, everything's very, very clearly laid out, you know, your gate, your comp. Um, this actually harks back to the almost like the sort of PM5D style of selected channel interface from, from Yamaha and that everything's really just on the surface. Um, now, Midas preamps, uh, which obviously are lovely and you, weirdly for a digital desk, you can actually hammer the gain, uh, which yeah, people are probably going to do because it's got Midas written on it. Yeah, and the thing I notice is that it, it's kind of um, reminiscent of the XL200 in the mm. sense that you've really got to grab a big yeah. handful of preamp to actually get the channel, you know, up and angry. Yeah. Now, um, but when you do, it's good. Now that could be. I mean, they. <laughs> they they figure everyone's just going to do that, gonna do yeah, that anyway. It's got Midas written on it. Yeah. Uh, and look, it does exactly what it, it should do when it does. And, it's, and, it's, it's a lovely sound. And it's, it's not an issue because mm. it's not like turning that up mm. induces a whole lot of noise on the channel. It's mm. quiet. Um, I don't think there's any question that it sounds good. No. Uh, I don't think there's any question that the usability of this is very good. I wasn't sure how I'd go with this because the screen is about the same size as the screen on an iPhone yeah, 6. Yeah, it is. It's also um, not a touch screen. But, but I don't think that matters yeah. because I, I've, you know, there's, there's these hotkeys on the side mm -hmm. to jump to certain things. You can set up this assign section mm -hmm. to do a, a number of things. I really like that you can, uh, on the right hand section of faders, that's all your, your outputs and DCAs and things. The left side defaults to being your inputs, but if you want, you can press yeah, two input great. banks at once. That's really good. And spread all Just your inputs. That's so smart. Look, I think the other big story is obviously you can, you can connect this thing to anything. I mean, you can get around the screen issue and labeling by you know, Mac, PC connection, Wi-Fi connection to an yeah, iPad. Yeah, and you, uh, iPad or computer. Yeah. Um, and also on the back, you've got a 32 by 32 uh, USB interface, so recording and playback, easy. Yeah, you've and got you, we should point out that's a card-based interface, yep. so you can change that out and you can jam a Maddie card or a Dante card in yep. there instead mm. and treat it exactly the same way. Yep. Uh, AES 50, so you can hook up to all of the stage boxes. You've got Ultranet. You can hook into their personal monitoring system. You can hook into Turbo Sound, uh, being part of the music group. 16 preamps on board. Yep. How many have we got? Uh, eight XLR outs plus plus a mm. bunch of TRS and even some RCA mm. inputs and outputs as well as talkback. Nice talkback section. Yeah, actually that's really like, good. Even little things like mm. figuring out how to make the talkback latch or yep. momentary, it doesn't take long to work it out. Mm. Uh, and I think that, that some time's gone into the software mm. and it certainly, it, it feels like the software's, mm. you know, had some love. Yeah, um, exactly. And, and I think that's great. Mm. And yeah, look, I really, there's, there's not much to complain about with this. I think the, the faders, look, they don't feel like the faders on a Heritage 4000, but I think the days when, mm. when anything is built like that are, are gone. Mm. Um, you know, and, and you'll notice if you pair them, they don't return all the way down mm. to the bottom of the track together, but I don't think that's going to be... It's not reflected in the audio. Yeah, it's not mm. something you're going to hear, it's just purely a physical alignment yeah. thing. They are and rated for one million cycles though, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, look, mm. uh, they've, I think Midas has put a lot of effort into building something nice and solid here, mm. um, and it does. Uh, it, it's it's rack mount width, it's very deep, but look, I don't know why you'd even put this in a rack. I'll just put it in a case, because yeah. you can do so much mm. inside it. Like, you don't need an effects rack, you mm. don't need EQs, you don't need outboard anything. Mm. Mm. You know, if you want to record, you plug your laptop in and job done. Yeah, look, um, the uh, the M series is popping up in a lot of uh, smaller venues, and the thing about then uh, they're popping up a lot around Australia. Is there's a lot of operators who maybe aren't that comfortable with digital, but you know they're in there and they're working. People are just walking up to these things and pulling mixes, and everybody seems yeah, pretty happy. Yeah, at the end it. of the day, it's it's again it they've done they've done a sensible thing with this, and and whereas if you look at something like the Pro series, mm. you actually got to tell that what to be before mm. you can use yeah. it. You turn this thing on, you hit default and it just works. Right? Mm -hmm. Channel 1 routes to the main, you can push the fader up, you can press select, you can twist the EQ, mm -hmm. and it all just works. You know, it's And I think that's that's one of the most user-friendly aspects to it, is that it starts at the right spot. Yep, absolutely. There you go, that's the Midas M32R. Thanks very much for watching. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share us with your friends.